Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for SPSS. This screencast covers section 9.9 .9 regressions, including 9.10 Model 1 Simple Linear Regression, section 9.12 Model 2 Principal Axis Regression, and section 9.13 Model 2 Ranged Principal Axis Regression. Regressions are done when you have a significant correlation between two variables and wish to derive an equation that allows you to forecast the value of one of the variables when you know the value of the other. Regressions on their own do not tell you if there is a correlation between the variables you are modelling. See section 9.5 in the book for further information. Regression analysis allows you to develop an equation in the form y equals a plus bx, where b is the slope of the line and a is the intercept. Please see the book for more details. So which regression should I use? There are two basic types of regression tests, term model 1 and model 2, and the model you use depends on the properties of your data. If you have total control of the x variable and measure the y variable, then you need to use a simple linear regression, sometimes called an ordinary least squares. If, however, you're going to be measuring both variables, you need a model 2 regression. If the two variables you are measuring are on the same scale, such as human arm span and human height in centimetres, then you need to use a principal axis regression, sometimes called a major axis regression. However, if the two variables are on different scales, such as measuring the girth of a tree in metres and its age in years, then you need to use a ranged principal axis regression, sometimes called a reduced major axis regression. In SPSS, it's difficult to do Model 2 type regressions, so this screencast will focus on Model 1 simple linear regressions. If you need to do Model 2 regressions, can I suggest you check out the screencast for regressions using the program R. This is the data from Table 9.11, and I'm going to perform a simple linear regression on it. First, I track up to Analyze and click, track down to Regression from the list that appears, and then track to linear from the submenu list. A window should open like this. We now have to instruct the program which variables we want it to act on. The first variable to consider is the independent variable. This is the variable we controlled, and in this case is the distance from the pylon, which is already selected. I'm now going to tell SPSS to place it in the independent box by pressing this arrow. The next variable is the dependent variable. This is the concentration of zinc that we measured. I'm going to select this and place it in the dependent box. I'm now going to press OK to run the test. The output window opens and gives us various boxes, including boxes calculating a coefficient value r, a significance using an ANOVA, but it's the fourth box, coefficients, that we are really interested in. As you can see under column B, it gives us our intercept value, 737.6 first, followed by our slope, minus 92.4 second. We can now use these to construct our equation. I hope you found this screencast useful. For further information behind the theory or how to use the test, please consult the book. More information on how to use the programs can be found in our walkthrough web guides in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.